Hey everybody, on this episode of VFX Studio we're going to be going over the particle simulator. Alright, let's start off the third episode by jumping right into the effect. Hey guys, Valbar here with another video and for entertainment and possibly educational purposes I have made this Mach C4 out of baking soda and sugar that I found on the internet and we're gonna see what happens so I set the timer for 20 seconds this is my garage we're just gonna put it right here like that alright set the timer alright let's go tripod So the first thing I edited was the hole in the garage. I did this by placing two shots on top of each other, one with the door closed and one with it open. Then I just made a mask on the door that was closed. At this point it's just a bunch of effects that you may have seen in my other videos. So I'm just going to quickly run through them and then get to the particle simulator. The first was a black picture that I found on the internet and dropped the opacity to make it look like the garage door was charred. Next I added the bonfire effect which is pre-built into HitFilm. It can be found under effects, 3D, fire, bonfire. Now for the explosions, I pretty much did the same thing as in my other video. I used one explosion that I duplicated three times. For the bottom explosion, I set the blending mode to screen, then the middle I set to normal, then the top I set to screen again. I also dropped the opacity of the normal explosion so that it wouldn't stand out so much. The sparks were, again, the exact same thing, I just made them smaller. The yellow flash was a plane that had a keyframed opacity to go up as the explosion happened. Keep in mind that you can change the color of the plane at any time by right clicking, selecting properties, and then clicking on the square that has a solid color in it. And now we've arrived at the particle simulator. So go to effects, 3D, particle simulator, and drag it to your timeline. At first you'll have a bunch of white dots that appear randomly and disappear. Click on your particle system and go to the control panel. Click emitter, emitter, particle system, particle system, appearance and then on the open folder button. This will open a window that will show you all the included textures for your particle system. For this effect I selected the first five asphalt textures. Now you'll see that every particle is the texture that you have selected, but if you scrub through you'll see that they'll still disappear after about a second. Go back into the control panel and under movement extend the life. Now you'll see that your particles won't disappear as you scrub through, but they also won't stop appearing. Under general keyframe the toggle that says particles per second. At the beginning of the system, leave it at 50 or 75. Scrub through to about a second, and then bring it down to zero. This will stop the particles from constantly appearing. Now I'm going to turn on my background so that I can see where to place my particles. There's still the issue of the particles acting like they're on the moon instead of on Earth, with no gravity to bring them down. To fix this, click on the down arrow in the control panel next to force. You'll see that your particles immediately start going down. Go back to the force panel and adjust the strength under type. The radius of the simulator can be adjusted under trajectory to give more width to your explosion. Now go to transform and adjust the position so that it's in the right spot. To make the particles seem as if they're bouncing off the ground, you're going to add a new plane, color it whatever you want, or just make sure that you can see it, and then drop it into your timeline. Now the plane is going to cover your entire video because it's 2D. So go to this box here and select 3D plane. Now you can position your plane in 3D space by going to transform and plane with the rotation controls. You're going to want to make the plane so that it looks like it's covering your ground and is in the same direction. Also, make sure it's under the particle simulator, otherwise the particles won't bounce off of it. If you're not sure if it is, go to the orbit camera tool and have a look around. Remember to press Ctrl Z so that your camera goes back to its original place. Even if everything is in the right place, your particles still won't bounce off your plane, because you haven't told the program to do that. In the control panel, add a new deflector, select layer for your shape, then as the source layer, select the plane that you just created. Now you'll see that the particles bounce off the layer as if it were ground. Now you can hide the plane by clicking on the eye. It'll still be active, but you won't see it. If your particles keep sliding across the ground, then you need to adjust the friction. Now just mess around with the position of the planes, the particles, and everything else so that they match. I also threw in some debris stock footage to add to the effect. Now just bring all your elements together, and you have an effect that makes it look like you totally ruined your garage.
Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like rating below and consider subscribing to receive my latest updates. If you have any suggestions for new effects or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.